Well, Glenn and Dave, there's a couple of things going on here tonight, and Dale Kildee did put out a statement. There is a lot happening, as I mentioned. Essentially, the family members in question have been lobbying these accusations at Dale Kildee for years. That's what he says. And he says the bottom line is, right now, these accusations are lies. Representative Dale Kildee is calling accusations that he molested a second cousin a Republican smear plot. And he says the allegations are being made by mentally unstable family members. It started by touching, you know. The claims are being made by this man, Patrick Kildee, seen here in a promotion for an interview he's doing with a local Flint TV station this week. Patrick Kildee says 50 years ago, when he was 12, Dale Kildee molested him over the course of several years. Patrick Kildee's family discussed the accusations in a recent interview. The family says that it was when Kildee came back to the district, he took advantage of his second cousin. He spent almost every weekend up at our house, which it turns out in my son's bed. I had five kids and it was yeah. the only spare, but Patrick had a bedroom down, down in the basement. Down in the family room bedroom that was built off of our house. He was the only one that had five. a bed that weren't other kids in it. The 82-year-old congressman hasn't spoken publicly about the accusations, but did release this statement tonight, calling the accusations false and shameful. It reads in part, Republicans tried to peddle these scurrilous allegations during my last congressional race, and authorities and reputable news outlets rejected these false allegations. Now they are back at it again to try and win an open congressional seat. These allegations resurfaced recently when the accuser's son asked me for money and federal benefits, which I refused. A a reporter with the Washington Times newspaper confronted Congressman Kildee on his way to the airport several days ago. Kildee once again denied the allegations. Give me a response to these allegations. Oh. There's no truth to them. He's accusing you of uh, sexual abuse, sir. Mm -hmm. You do realize how serious this is? Yes. Kildee is in the process of retiring. He's held office for over 30 years. We'll keep you posted on any new developments in this story.